Want a business that has low startup costs, flexible hours and that you can do from the comfort of your own home? A truck dispatching business may be perfect for you. In this video, I'm going to cover step by step how you can start your own truck dispatching business. I will begin by answering introductory questions like what it is, how to do it from home, how much you can make, and startup costs. I'll then tackle the actual steps to setting up this business, including business entity formation, licenses, funding, marketing and more. What is a truck dispatching business? A truck dispatching business is a business that manages freight on behalf of a carrier, which may be an individual trucker or a trucking business that owns a fleet of vehicles. This business finds loads for the carrier using load boards, connections with brokers and shippers, and other methods for securing loads. The truck dispatcher handles negotiations for the load and ultimately dispatches drivers and sets up routes. Can I run a truck dispatching business from home? You can absolutely do this from home because the key tasks involve finding loads on your computer, calling and negotiating with shippers, and handling various administrative responsibilities such as setting up routes with drivers and record keeping, all of which may be done in the comfort of your home. How much do truck dispatchers make? According to ZipRecruiter, Independent truck dispatchers make on average $66,012 per year, with the low end of the range starting at $20,500 and the high end capping off at $273,500. How do truck dispatchers make money? They generally get paid by taking a percentage of earnings from each load they find for their clients. Although some dispatchers may charge a flat fee, most will want a percentage fee, which is typically between 5% to 10% for each load. How much does it cost to start a truck dispatching business? Starting costs run from $1,000 to $2,500, which is modest compared to many other businesses. That's because this type of business can be operated from home with basic equipment that most people already have. What do I need to start a truck dispatching business? To start this type of business you will need certain equipment and tools, including data management tools and load boards. The basics include a computer, printer, phone, and office supplies as well as online subscriptions to transportation management software, TMS, and load boards. Business Setup Costs If you choose to operate an LLC or other business entity, there will be costs associated with that and there may be permits and licenses you need to get from your state or other governmental entity that can also carry some cost. Additionally, if you set up a website for your business and decide to market your business, those activities will also cost you some money. All in, you can expect to spend around $500 or so for these types of costs, although the scope and type of marketing can significantly increase that amount. If you choose to invest in a truck dispatching course, this will further bump up your costs. I have found courses on Udemy that are under $20, but most online courses I found range between $150 to $400. Transportation management software is another possible expense. This is software that helps you organize all of your dispatch information and is a key tool to help you keep everything straight in your truck dispatching business. In general, this type of software runs between $100 to $200 per month. Connect Team is a cheaper option for a truck dispatcher because it won't include a lot of the functionality that a freight broker uses, but still offers pretty good options to run your business efficiently. Another cost you may want to factor in is load boards. You need to find good loads for your clients and one of the best ways to do so is through load boards. For a premium load board, you are looking at around $40 per month for a basic subscription. If you don't know where to start, DAT is a clear market leader, with over a million loads posted daily. I have an affiliate arrangement where you can take advantage of a 30-day free trial, which you can cancel at any time. The link is in the description below. Okay, now that we've got the introductory stuff out of the way, Let's get into the nuts and bolts of setting up your truck dispatching business. Step 1. Get trained as a truck dispatcher. If you don't know the first thing about truck dispatching, you may want to invest in a truck dispatching course. There are many out there and a simple Google search will yield a lot of options for you to explore. In my view, a course is never as good a real-world experience, but it's probably a whole lot better than diving into the business blind. Step 2. Get appropriate licenses in place. Although you will generally not need a formal or special license to operate as a truck dispatcher, your state may require a general business license if you are going to be operating a commercial enterprise. You should check your state and local laws to find out for sure what you will need. Step 3. Set up your truck dispatching business. The first step in establishing your truck dispatching business is selecting a name and logo that you like. Having trouble figuring out a name? Try Shopify's business name generator. It's free. 
As for generating a logo, I like Looka. They are an AI-powered platform that will provide you a professional-looking logo at reasonable prices. The next thing to do is to create a website for your truck dispatching business. Google allows you to build your first business profile website for free. This has the added bonus of allowing people in your area searching on Google for your type of business to find you. Another part of the setup process is establishing a business entity, like an LLC, corporation, or partnership. Why do this? In most cases, setting up a business entity can help shield some of your assets held outside the business entity if there is a claim against the business. You can use a lawyer, but there are online options which are much cheaper. I like Northwest because they are also one of the most affordable options that I was able to find that still offer great customer service. They offer a package which is just $39 as of the date of this video. Their link is below too. Step 4. Market your business. A good marketing plan is critical to your business success. After all, if no one knows that your business exists, you may as well pack it up because no one will be using your services. So what are some of the best ways to spread awareness and keep customers coming in? In addition to being on Google My Business and having a website, both of which we already covered, you can market your services on places like Yelp, or buy Google Ads or Facebook Ads to advertise your services in those popular online platforms. Of course, if you have connections with people in the trucking industry, word of mouth is a great way to drum up business. Reach out to folks and ask them to refer people to you. You can also research what your competitors are doing when it comes to marketing their products or services. Learn from them and outdo them. Step 5. Get insurance in place. As a truck dispatcher, you will want to be adequately protected against claims if things go sideways in your business. Thus it is important to get appropriate insurance for your business. Because you are not operating the trucks, you will not need the same type of liability and cargo insurance that your carriers will be required to hold, but a general business insurance policy may make sense. So there you have it. 5 simple steps to starting your truck dispatching business and tips on how to implement each of them. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.